Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is this look right here. It's kind of a cool twist on how to wear a red lipstick. I went a little bit editorial and added some gloss and did this blurred lip trend that's very popular right now and I think it turned out really nice. I think it's a very different way to wear a red lipstick. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to see how I got this look right here, then please keep on watching. Okay, you guys, let's get started. Um, so the main aspect of this look is going to be the skin. I really want the skin to look its best and I want it to look really fresh and dewy. So those are the type of products I'm going to use. So the first thing is the Tarte Brighter Days Highlighting Moisturizer. This is an amazing, amazing product to use under um, foundation or even without foundation if you just want to brighten up your skin. It literally does exactly what it says. It's a highlighting moisturizer. So to amp up that glow a little bit more, I'm gonna mix two products. I'm gonna make, mix the MAC Strobe Liquid with Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal, or Moonstone actually. So I'm gonna mix these two. You obviously, you don't have to have all these products. Just use any liquid highlighter you have. I'm going to concentrate that mixture on like the high points of my face, kind of where you would put highlighter. Or just everywhere. So you guys can see the skin looks very, very glowy right now. Don't panic. We will powder it down in the end so you don't look like a disco ball. Um, but right now we're just going to move on to the next step, which is concealing. Now, if you feel like you can't get away without using a foundation, go put on a very, very thin layer of any foundation that you love. If you only have a little bit you feel like you need to cover, go in with a concealer. I'm using the Bare Mineral Stroke of Light Brightener, and I'm going to use that literally where I need it. So that's going to go under my eyes. This is very, very similar to my no foundation routine. So if you guys want a more in-depth look, you can go watch that. But I'm literally just putting the concealer where I really need it. So that's going to be under my eyes. And um, on my nose a little bit right here where I have broken capillaries and then I have pigmentation right here on my upper lip and around right here. So I'm going to take a beauty blender and I'm going to bounce all that product in. I'm literally, I'm bouncing it on because I don't want to move the product into places where I don't need it. Because again, I just want the skin to look really, really fresh and like there's almost nothing on it. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with more highlight, believe it or not. I'm going to be using the Milk Makeup Highlighter in the color Lit. This is a beautiful, beautiful cream highlight. It's a champagne color, so it's very flattering to a lot of different skin tones. And I'm just going to take that directly on my face. Actually, just going to melt it down a little bit on my hand first so it becomes more creamy. And then I'm just going to take that right on the high points of my face. So that's going to be right there. We're going to take it above the brows, down the nose, right here. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender and kind of just blend that in so you don't really see any of the edges. So at this point, we're going to set only where we need it. So I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury um, powder. And I'm going to set my under eye. 
just in this section right here. I'm going to set just the middle of my forehead. Pretty much I'm doing my T-zone a little bit around the nose here and around the mouth. And we're leaving everything else really, really dewy. Okay, you guys, let's move on to the eyes now. I'm going to be using a product by Nude Sticks. This is their magnetic eye pencil in the color Terra. So this is a matte eyeshadow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it all over my lids. But if you have pigmented lids, keep that. That is perfect. It's beautiful. Don't conceal them and skip this step. I don't have, I do have a little bit of pigment on my lids, but not that much. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this product on um, just to make them look like they're naturally more pigmented. So what I'm going to do is just draw it onto my mobile lid, kind of up to the crease. And then I'm going to take my finger and just blend that out. That's the nice thing about this product. It's extremely easy to blend out with your fingers. So I'm also really lightly taking that on my lower lash line, just the outer third, and then just blending it out with my finger. Okay, so now for the fun part, I'm going to take Milk Makeup's Face Gloss. Now, if you don't have a gloss that's meant for your face, you could use a lip gloss or any type of balm, just anything that's going to give you a glossy look. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on top of that other product. This just gives it a really pretty like kind of run runway vibe. Why couldn't I say that? Run weight vibe. So I'm going to curl my lashes next. And then just go in with any mascara that you like. Okay, so now go in with whichever red lipstick that you love. I am going to go in with this sample that I have. This is Bite Beauty's Mimosa. It's a beautiful, just true red. I was going to use um, Max Ruby Woo, but it's so drying that I wanted to use something a little bit more creamy. So I kind of just slapped the lipstick on, not worrying about any lines, and I'm just going to take a lip brush now and blur the edges. This is a really cool new trend going on with blurred edges for your lips. So just extend it out with a lip brush. So now I do want to add a little bit of color back into my face. You can definitely just leave it at this. I think it looks so pretty. But I'm actually going to go in with a very light bronzer. This is uh, a bronzer by Pixi. It's called Subtly Sun Touched. And the reason that I like this is that it's more pink. It doesn't really have orange or a red undertone. It's more pink pink and I just think that that kind of suits this look a little bit more so I'm just gonna lightly place this right on the perimeters of my face you can see I'm tapping it on so I don't disturb anything underneath you can see it's bringing a little bit of color into my face but it's not really taking away from the look so next step, completely optional. All of these steps are optional. Just fit it into whatever you feel comfortable with. But I'm going to take that gloss and I'm going to tap that on top of the highlight. Now this is more like an editorial vibe, I guess you could say. I don't know how wearable it would be. <laughs> um, to wear gloss on your face like this. So you can definitely skip this step and it'll be more wearable. I just really wanted to show you guys like the full effect. Okay, you guys, so here is the final look. I think it turned out really nice. I think it's a very different way of wearing a red lipstick. Obviously, adopt it to whatever you like, whatever you feel comfortable with, but 
yeah, this was the look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and come back for the next one. Bye, guys.